<laughs> like, as, like so. Hello, Hello, everyone in Korea. Korea. I am so, so excited, excited for, for you to see, see Quiet Place Part, part two. 2. I can't wait. When you were making the first film, did you always know that there would be a sequel? Weirdly, the studio had asked me to do a sequel, and I said, I'm not your guy. And I think John, for a long time, was really resistant to a sequel. And we were in Hawaii. I was filming in Hawaii. It's funny because Hawaii makes it sound super romantic, but the true story, <laughs> I don't know if she told you the true story or not. And all of a sudden, he just goes, I have an idea. And I thought, if I could do this little idea, I would love to do a sequel. And that idea was to make uh, Millie the lead character of the franchise. And that this idea of growing up, that was really thrilling to me to be able to. Uh, moving on to Emily. She said, um, I'm so glad you're going to do a sequel. I probably won't be in the sequel, so let me know what your idea is. And I told her the pitch. And at the end of the pitch, I pitched her the whole idea of Millie uh, going out into the world and this idea of community and she... And it was just an undeniable idea. <laughs> she immediately said, okay, I'm definitely doing the movie, um, so <laughs> how big is my part and let's make that part bigger. And I thought, well, that's that's not really... It's not really the deal, but um, we'll, we'll work on it. But no, she was really excited about the pitch because I think it... And that was how it began. Personally, what is your favorite scene from the movie? Yeah, I love the opening. The opening, the most... Um, cinematic and ambitious part of the film. With that car sequence, with the bus, the bus careening towards oh her my and like, God. that was so exciting to shoot it. Creature hits the car in front of her, a bus is coming at her, that bus is actually coming at her at 40 miles an hour for real. It's like it was all very real and very frightening. <laughs> it almost ruined our marriage because I was terrified about putting my wife into such a um, a scary situation. Because it was all shot in one shot, and John always envisioned it that way. He said, I don't want to cut away, so I loved doing that. Because there was also something when we called cut on that shot. Everybody ran out of every department that they were in just cheering that we couldn't believe that we had gotten that all in one shot, and so it never cuts in that yeah. shot, so we felt, we felt really good. You've worked with Milsa and Noah before, and you know, they're such powerhouses in this film. I think everyone has this misinterpretation of working with kids, like, oh, they, you know, never, never work with kids. With kids because they just add hours to the day, they're never prepared, they, you never really get the performance you want out of them without struggling. They saved us time every day. They were so professional. They were without a doubt better actors than I was, and that was frustrating at times, but I, I took notes from each of them. The nicest kids, like the nicest kids in the world. So I think Noah, and like I said, Millie are, are two of the best performers I've ever seen. So what kind of experience did you want to create for the audience with A Quiet Place 2? Hopefully, it's certainly the reason why I made the movie is there is a, a story unlike any other story I could tell in this movie. And uh, I also think, you know, not to compare the two, but after coming out of what we've all just been experiencing over the the past year, year and a half now, it is, uh, there are correlations probably between the film and in real life in, in very bizarre ways. And I think that especially coming out of COVID for everybody, we've been living in a sort of post-apocalyptic sense, you know, our own insular little bubbles. But I know that for friends of mine who have seen it recently, wow, it strikes a chord with you now, like big time. But more than that, I think that the, I can't tell a movie that's not hopeful, that doesn't have a, a chance of hope at the end of the movie. I think you kind of make discoveries about the human spirit and the resilience of the human spirit. Thank you for your great questions and it's been a pleasure. It's nice to just interact with people. Thank you See so much. You. And that's why most married couples are like, I don't want to work with my husband. Saying to John, do you know how to shoot this movie? I was so taken aback. I will say this was the discovery. What a creative sort of hurricane. She is as brilliant as anyone I've met. <laughs> Well, she pays me a lot of money to say it, so I have to, uh, <laughs> I have to abide by her Got contract. Got it, okay. <clears throat> we'll make a note of that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs>